Hey everybody, it's Jim Bull coming at you from Brat Magazine with another weekend event report. We did our first one last weekend from Miles Mountain and everyone seemed to like that a whole bunch so we're going to come back at you here on a regular basis. We had a busy weekend this past weekend. We were all over the place. Uh, started on Friday. We headed up to the Pagoda Motorcycle Club, one of the uh, premier tracks in District 6 there. Uh, Jerry Fessler and Randy Castle put on a big vet day race and uh, on Friday we headed out there. They had the Legends of D6 motocross school and let me tell you I had to just go and see some of these guys I haven't seen for a long time my buddy Stevie Herman me and him go way back uh, Ty Wallace I haven't seen Ty in a number of years but we had Karsten Greg Pomart there uh, Dave Kratz another former pro supercross guy from the area here uh, still riding every now and then came out and uh, Tim Schmelian another legend Tim race iron man forever you know and uh, his boy brock you all know him he went on and he's racing with blue buffalo and going to manage that team this year so just a bunch of great guys who have years and years of experience they put this uh, mx training school together and a bunch of riders came out and took advantage of that man i couldn't imagine learning from a better bunch of guys so uh, i think i got them all karsten wallace pomart tim schmelian steve herman Dave Kratz, what a what a list, what a resume, top national numbers all out right right here from our hometown. So those guys came out on Friday, did a vet school there. I think Saturday they had a practice day, and then they had a big money race for the vet guys on Sunday. Uh, props to Fessler and, and Randy Castle for putting that all together. I think they had close to 30 racers there, and they paid out over three grand. I'm not sure what the total numbers were, but in the end it was uh, Frenchy Greg Pomart taking a top spot, followed by Karsten, and then John Bolin. John's another longtime racer guy from from this neck of the woods he's a maryland boy but uh john's really wicked the notch turned it back up a notch here this year and he's he's kicking butt again so he's back on the bike and uh they had a big race over there at pagoda i missed that on sunday but i did make it out to the school and that was a great time uh saturday morning we saddled up my wife and i debbie we uh, hooked a pitster pro side by side up courtesy uh, keystone trailers there and we headed out to the anthracite outdoor adventure area guys if you're not into uh just off-road riding you got if you don't know about this place you got to check it out it's six thousand thousand acres or so I believe up in Schoolkill County uh anthracitadventure.com I believe is our website you can go up there and pay by the day to ride I think you can buy a, a yearly membership it's not real expensive to go up there and ride dirt bikes side by sides ATVs Jeeps dune buggies they allow it all up there uh, Mark Trails, it's a great place. And for you motocross guys, you get a weekend off, or hair scramble guys especially. Uh, it's it's pretty rocky, some of that terrain up there. And it'd be really good training for you guys to get out there and check that place out. So give them a, give them a hook up. Uh, Dave Porzi, my old buddy there at Anthracite Adventure Area, uh, they had a Geisinger Hospital Systems, Health Systems, they put on a fundraiser for the Children's Miracle Network, and they uh, put in $9,000 they raised for that facility. Just good old boys coming out and riding, having a good time, good old boys and girls, and uh, I think there was also a fundraiser for a local rod and gun club there. They had a chicken barbecue or something like that, but all in all, great day. It's only, I don't know where you live at, but they're close to everybody, New York City, Baltimore, Jersey, they're only a couple hours. I'm down here in Lancaster. It only took us like an hour and a half, two hours to get there. So Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area, check them out. Do some trail riding. Have a good time. Uh, tell my buddy Dave Porzi I sent you up there. Uh, Sunday, we headed out to the Mama Race at Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow Motocross, home of the two-stroke shootout coming up here uh, a couple weeks. Uh, the end of the month, I think. Uh, check that out on their website. But Mama came into town both Saturday and Sunday. And again, we had some great racing. I couldn't make it Saturday, man. I was planning on the second motos. But, you know, we had a, some technical difficulties, some mechanical difficulties out there. And it happens, you know, anytime you're off-roading and banging around, uh, you're going to beat stuff up. So we spent the afternoon in the woods, Debbie and I. We had a little picnic lunch with us, which was good. We met some really great guys, Dave and Alex, that helped us get on out of there. But uh, it was a good time. But I did miss your second motos, guys. But the racing was red hot over there. We did show up Sunday morning. And Sunday started uh, was, was an awesome day. We did a, a little tribute at the riders meeting before things got going to 9-11. You know, all know yesterday was September 11th and uh, the 15th anniversary of those terrorist attacks on our country. And, and I know a lot of you racer kids, man, you don't even know about that probably. You weren't even born yet. I, you know, my wife told me we were watching some of them documentaries last weekend. Juniors in high school were going to learn about it in history books. But you all got to know that that was a day that America rallied, man. We were attacked. We had a terrorist attack against our country. And there's a lot of different views and opinions about that. I'm going to let you figure that out on your own. But uh, our country was attacked that day, and Americans came together and rallied. And we've lost that unity since then, you know. I even, it, it's easy to forget, but I want to ask you, man, firefighters, police personnel, our military, 
we all get to do what we get to do because they're out there sacrificing every day for us. And we don't even think about them. We forget completely about them, man. You know what? These guys and gals, they're out there. And, and this happened 15 years ago. But ever since then, we've become America's police force. You know, and this wasn't what I was going to talk about today, but here we are, so let's keep talking, all right? We've become America's police force, and the guys and gals that serve in our military, our armed forces, our emergency, EMTs, firefighters, police officers, love them, thank them, email them, text them. You see them on the street, shake their hands. They sacrifice every day so we can do what we do. We love them all, and we thank you, and the families that were affected that day. But anyhow, back to the race. And we did a little tribute, and there's my little tribute here online. So I would ask you to all to think about them and, and keep them in your prayers and honor those people. John Maxwell says, honor those people. I, I watched his minute with Maxwell yesterday. Honor those people, okay, in some way, shape, or form. But anyhow, on to the racing. Uh, things were red hot. We had some great battles. Uh, let's start in the C classes. Dylan Riabia. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know you, and I don't know how to say your last name, but he was kicking butt. He went 1-1 in the open C divisions, and he won the overall in the 250 C division. Uh, Colton Yenser was hot on his tail. Colton went 2-1 in the 250 class, but uh, Dylan somehow ended up with the overall there, or 1-2, I'm sorry, Yenser went 1-2, but uh, Dylan ended up with the overall in both classes, number 777 on the Yamaha, he was kicking butt out there, but watch that Yenser kid, he's an MDRA guy, and he's been coming around and racing the Mama Series, he just moved up to the big bikes this year, and he's really, he, he's turned it up too, his dad's a, another former pro number, national number holder, I think Yenser, Jeff had a number 10 on his bike at one point in time. And that's saying something, man. I'm not positive about that. You, you check with him the next time you see him. And he's another guy who can give you some training if you need it. But number 10, Yenser, his boy, he's out there. He's turning it up. You know, uh, we all know Chase, Rod's boy. He does real well in the super mini divisions and the 80 classes. But Colton, he's really, he, he got it this year, man. He's, he's moved up to the big bikes. He got number two there in the 250C class. And he won unlimited C on Saturday. I wasn't there, but I checked the results. I can cheat a little bit, you know. But uh, Yenser turned it up. In the women's division, Cheyenne McGuinn, she took a couple wins again. She's still got that number one plate on her bike from last year, and she wants to hold on to it the way it looks. Also, uh, the Bowling girl, um, Brooke Bowling came in, number 48, another uh, MDRA regular and mama girl. She kicked butt in uh, the mini women's support class on Saturday, or on Sunday, I'm sorry, Sunday there at Sleepy Hollow. And then, of course, we had our B-class battles. We got Orion Gregory. I talked about Orion uh, last week from Miles Mountain. Kid putting that KTM out in front. He loves them whole shots. Max Sanford, just back on the bike. Max, man, he's been tearing it up. He got hurt before Loretta's, a couple weeks before Loretta's. Couldn't go again this year. I think it was Mini O's he couldn't hit last year because of an injury. This kid just, he needs a, a better break. But those two guys went at it, and they swapped wins in the B division. Uh, I think Gregory took 250 B overall, 1-1, Max 2-2. Two, two, and they swapped it out in the open B. Max went 1-1, one, one, and Orion went 2-2. Uh, two, two. So watch those guys. And they're both young. I think 13. 14 years old they have a great future ahead of them so that was in our b racing also speaking of b b line racing seth hamacker what can you say about this kid went to loretta's and won super mini overall went to uh mammoth mountain and the baja brawl and won there he's got the verb classic coming up he's got mini o's coming up later this fall he's got the open uh out in uh vegas coming up okay the big monster cup race all right, this kid is smooth, and I've seen other guys like this in the past. He puts that PR2 bike out in front, that Beeline Racing Kawasaki out in front, and he goes, and he is smooth, and he, Seth's got what it takes, man. I'll say a prayer for him. He stays healthy and keeps on rocking, uh, and you just got to talk about him because he's just the kid flies. He's just on fire. And there's a, I know a lot of you other guys out there are really fast, and you do a great job, but let's all pull for Seth, and I know he's looking for a ride. He's ready to move up to the big bikes. Anybody wants to put it, the kid's got great ethics, great morals, and he can and twist the throttle. So if anyone's looking for a good rider, you look up Seth Hamacker from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and you sit him on your seat, and you'll be glad you did. Uh, little Daniel Brookshire, we like to sponsor Daniel with our Brat Magazine. He's a fired-up little dude. Four classes, four class wins on the weekend. That family's been chasing Mama. They've been chasing MDRA. They're out there every weekend going after it, and I think you're going to see a bunch of number one plates on that boy's shelf come the end of the year. So there you have it, folks. Wild weekend. We got big races coming up. We got the Yamaha All-Star Pro-Am coming up at Dublin Gap this weekend. Fire up your Barbie Jeep. Gas it up. Bring it out. We're going to have some downhill racing. We got a pig roast Saturday. We got a band Saturday night and some really good racing with a big money. I think it's six grand on the line for the Pro-Am race. Don't quote me on that. Give them a call. 
punch their digits, check them out. Uh, check them out online. You can get all the info at DublinGap.com. That's this Saturday and Sunday. Then the weekend after that, we got the Kevin, the, the Kevin Crime Memorial Race. I think it's a third or fourth annual. Mama puts that on down at Bud's Creek. Kevin was another pro guy. We got talent here, people. We develop talent from here, okay, from this region of the race. And these series, these D6, Mama, MDRA, we got fast kids coming out of here. We got the Kevin Crime Memorial Race coming up the last weekend of the month down at Bud's Creek. There's all kind of money on the line, dash for cash. They got pros coming in. Gary Luckett Traders Racing is bringing some pro guys in to do another training clinic current pro guys okay there's going to be dash for caches there's going to be pig roast there's going to be bands there's going to be awesome awesome racing check that out and then after that i'm not we're going to go there we roll into k rock it just keeps on going so we got an exciting end of the season coming up thanks for tuning in go to our website check out our pictures check out our videos we love you guys we'll see you at the next one later